All right, what's up YouTube? It's Carl Z with another video. Actually, this time I'm not gonna be lifting weights. I'm gonna be answering some questions. I have a big following on Twitter and I post a lot of fitness related stuff that leads people to ask me a lot of fitness related questions. I thought that'd be cool to uh, turn that into a little bit of a Q&A video on YouTube. So that's what I did. I went to Twitter, which I'll have some links in the description if you'd like to follow me, I'd really appreciate that. And I just tur turned this into an Ask Carl kind of a thing. And if you have any other questions, be sure to at me on Twitter and we'll uh, have some fun having a conversation. Now I got a few people asking me questions. Me Big Man, or at Me Big Man, which is kind of funny, at Me Big Man. And he asked me a few questions about my uh, YouTube before and I'd just like to take a moment to answer him. He, he asked my, me a question, what was my goal on YouTube and I just, I didn't really have a goal and it took me a second just to think about it and I started using the camera just to keep me honest with my reps and uh, sets and you know just to keep me to a stricter form which worked really well actually so I started uh, posting the videos and had a lot of fun uh, editing and it just turned into a fun thing to do I think I've done not too many I think 30 videos which isn't which isn't too much I, I started off with the goal of doing more uh, UFC fight predictions and reactions and stuff but uh, I get really busy in the week time and it's uh, it, it turns into a thing where it's adding another thing to my hobbies instead of uh, just doing an offshoot like when I'm lifting weights it's just moving the camera around in between sets I can do that pretty easy I'm doing it anyway but when I uh, when I you know, if I want to make a, a UFC video I have to do a lot of research get to find a lot of pictures do a lot of editing it's a uh, it's a lot more of an add-on than it is just with my weightlifting videos and my fitness stuff. So doing that is just a lot easier way to connect through YouTube. So I'm going to try to connect with as many people on YouTube as I can. And uh, I'm not the strongest guy, but I, uh, I have a lot of motivation to keep lifting weights and uh, get stronger. And uh, I've uh, studied exercise science in college and I have a lot of really good information. So I thought I could try and share that with you guys. So, at me, big man. He also asked me, what are some easy things to do when we're not lifting weights to help us trim up? And a lot of easy things you can do is just by increasing the steps in a day, always park further away, take the stairs instead of the elevator. And a big thing for me is to avoid the snacks. Uh, no more Hershey's, no more Snickers bars. Regardless of how small they make them, they're still not good for you. All right, and then we have a good friend of mine, Expendable Fitness. He's at Quest for Fitness he's on uh, Twitter. He's a good friend of mine on Twitter. He's from India. He asked me a lot of questions. I really appreciate his, uh, his following uh, our conversations. He asked me, what, which part of the sun gives us vitamin D? Is it infrared? Can you avoid a suntan by having all these waves alone artificially? I don't believe you can avoid a suntan and get vitamin D at the same time. I know that it's UVB interacting with some steroids we have in our skin that produces vitamin D. UVB is also associated with a lot of the bad things, sunburns, uh, cancer, and so it's it's kind of a catch-22. You need to have uh, vitamin D. And in normal person, you interact with the sun more than enough to get your vitamin D. But with today's diets, too, if you're living in America, you don't have to worry about getting vitamin D. They add it to milk. They add it to the orange juice. It's in. It's almost in the air you breathe. But it's <clears throat> that's a very interesting question. And I don't believe you can avoid uh, sunburn and artificially put UVB on your skin. Cool question, though. All right, we got uh, Chris. We got who's at Chris at Chris or fit uh, 555 he asked me where do we get started as a noob now seriously I would recommend as a noob starting out to make sure you have a level of commitment sometimes people always say oh join a gym do this that can be expensive and that can be just a waste of money if your level of interest isn't high enough so one thing I would recommend doing is just uh, finishing and starting your day with some push-ups, sit-ups, and uh, 
burpees or something like that just to really get yourself a little bit more active without having to push it too much you can always do some body weight exercises like i said the burpees the push-ups and pull-ups will always give you really good pump and they're really not to be forgotten in any workout or any workout routine all right so this was a dm question and i figured if you saved me a dm you didn't want me to put your ad out on the youtube so i didn't so i'm not going to anyway so this is, can pepper help digestion? And actually pepper can help digestion. Pepper is one of those uh, spices that increases stomach acids. And if some people lack stomach acids, they have probably digesting things. For the most part, most people won't have a problem with stomach acids. So it's not something you're going to need. But it's, if for some people, it could be a help, I guess. And uh, if you have any other questions, hey, do me a favor, give me a follow on Twitter and shoot me a question. You don't even have to ask or, you know, hashtag anything or anything. Uh, just, you know, ask me a question. You can give me a DM if you don't want me to try and give you a shout out or anything. And uh, with some editing, I think I'm going to put the people's names like on the on the screen, maybe edit in a name of their picture or a picture of their thing so I can do it. Uh, give people proper credit for their questions and stuff. So, yeah, do that. Give me a follow on Twitter, and we'll uh, keep a conversation going. Remember to uh, like the video and subscribe for more content. Remember, uh, every day spent lifting weights is a good day. So remember to have yourself a great day.